Okay, welcome to food art. First, we're going to carve a courgette or zucchini into a leaf. The courgette and the zucchini, by the way, are the same thing in different languages. So first, we get our zucchini and cut it in half lengthwise like this after cutting off the top. This is the size of the leaf. I made it about the size of my hand. You can make it as long or short as you want, depending on what you want it for. Take the tip and shape it into the shape of the tip of a leaf. Looking good there, isn't it? Yeah. So the main vein of the leaf down the middle, I want to accent that. So I'm cutting out a bit next to it, which as you see, will be lighter colored, leaving the center dark. So we're on our way to having a leaf now with the veins. Looking good. Now, each of the side veins going up, I'm kind of doing them in the shape of a small leaf, a petal, even though they may be veins or whatever. This is decorative, so we don't really know which part of the plant this is, just so it looks pretty like a real plant does. Okay, keep cutting all the way up. You can turn your leaf backwards and forwards if you can't manage it by putting your knife forwards and backwards like this. It just takes about two or three minutes to get used to doing it this way, though. And looking good. One more at the top, and it'll be just about done. Good job. Doing a good job there. Starting up the other side. You can either align your leaves, little leaves, with each other down each side, or you can do them opposite, or you can just do however you want, because it's art. It doesn't have to be exact, unless you want it to be totally, totally symmetrical. And it doesn't really matter, just so it looks good. Just about done there. See how they're a little bit off, and then every other one? Plants are like that sometimes. Now, I'm cutting out the bits in between each of the little leaves. Uh, this is to make it look a bit fancier, because if you don't do that, well, it looks okay. It looks kind of like a shield, but if you do this, it'll look a bit like lace down the edges, and it'll be a lot more fancy, professional looking. If you want to use it at a party or something, well, to do that, you'd probably have to make a lot of them and make quite a nice display, but That'll be easy once you start carving vegetables and fruit. You'll be able to carve almost anything if you practice. Well, anything soft is easy. Yeah, keep going down the other side, get out the bits in between each of the veins. Oh, that's so much fun, isn't that? Yeah, it didn't take very long. And remember, save all the bits you're pulling out. You can use them in soups, mix them in with your mashed potatoes, cook them with the potatoes. You can put them in your lasagnas or anything, so even spaghetti sauce. Just put them in there. Do not throw food away. It's too important. Okay, just about done there. Trimming it up a bit. Uh, make a little indentation across the bottom, make it a little bit more intricate. Looks great. And there we are. Really cool looking leaf made out of a zucchini or courgette. Thanks for watching. And when I show you this next picture with several leaves and a flower in it, I will try to put links on it to my other instructions. So you can just click right there and go to the next video. Again, thank you and please subscribe if you haven't done so yet.